Welcome back. A Sky News investigation has found that fraudsters have been selling counterfeit ULEZ exemption certificates on social media. ULEZ is London's ultra-low emission zone. It requires vehicles to comply with certain pollution standards. Fraudsters say that they are able to make vehicles ULEZ exempt in as little as 24 hours. They claim that they can play the system by using the vehicle's logbook to ensure even the most polluting car is registered as meeting standards. Well, since the expansion, there has been a rise in vandalism attacks on cameras used to enforce the scheme. Devices across the capital have been sprayed with paint, they've had wires cut, some have even been removed. Well, Sky's data and forensics correspondent Tom Cheshire has more. So we found on the internet various different platforms actually on Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, WhatsApp, Snapchat and TikTok. These adverts to get away from the ULEZ to get an exemption to it. Uh, and these range from charging £149 to up to £1,000. They say they can do it as little as 24 hours. All you need is a vehicle logbook. You put that in. They say they can change that. Um, we spoke to some of those people offering it. Um, they supplied proof. We saw two number plates go from... Um, non-exempt to exempt over the course of 24 hours. Um, these people wouldn't say exactly how they did it. They're understandably cagey to reveal it because it is criminal activity. But one of them spoke of having an insider at TFL, which is obviously the bar department that's in charge of these exemptions, uh, and perhaps relying on counterfeit documents. Now, TFL said they are aware of criminals submitting fake ULEZ exemptions, and they've already removed many. We spoke to Facebook uh, Meta, the owner of Facebook. They said they've removed accounts, uh, removed posts advertising this, Snapchat disabled accounts advertising this too. TikTok didn't respond to our request for comment. But it shows that, you know, the ULA zone has been here less than a week. People are still looking to get around it. We've seen reports of vandalism. We're expecting new figures from the police on that today. How many of these cameras have been vandalized? 3,000 was set up for the extension of this zone and 600 activists claim uh, say they have damaged 600 of them. So we'll see what happens with that. But ULEZ, even though it's in place already and still controversial.